ियोटिकली Today I am here to present my seminar on the topic of etiopathogenesis and neurobiology of anxiety disorder, and my moderator is Dr. Subir Kher Sir. <clears throat> we will study the to today's topic under the following headings. First of all, we will go through some introduction regarding the anxiety disorder. Then we will study about the types of anxiety disorders, its function and anatomy, neuroendocrine and neurotransmitter pathways, gene and environment interactions. Role of epigenetics and oxytocin system in anxiety disorder. Role of early life stress in HPA axis and anxiety, and immune kind urinary pathways and gut microbiota, brain axis in anxiety disorders. Is it audible? Is it audible? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> anxiety disorder is one of the most prevalent category of mental illness. It has been ranked as the ninth most health related cause of disability by the who due to their high prevalence chronicity and comorbidity anxiety is a diffuse unpleasant and vague sense of apprehension usually accompanied by autonomic symptoms and excessive and enduring sensations of fear concern and dread anxiety and fear are normal emotional responses to potential or actual threats in anxiety disorder these responses are dysregulated that is exaggerated or prolonged in a manner that it is disturbing to one's life combination of genetic environmental and neurobiological variables may be involved in the development of the anxiety disorder now we will go through the types of anxiety disorders according to icd10 dsm5 and icd11 icd10 has classified the anxiety disorder uh, into two type phobic anxiety disorder and other anxiety disorders and dsm5 has, has Has classified into agoraphobia, social phobia, specific phobia, separation anxiety disorders, selective mutism, panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and many more. And ICD-11 uh, has also classified into agoraphobia, social phobia, specific phobia, separation anxiety disorder, panic disorder, generalized and other specified anxiety disorders. Functional anxiety anxiety disorders result from disruption in the balance of activity. in the emotional centers of the brain rather than in the higher cognitive center emotional processing brain structures historically are referred to as the limbic system limbic cortex is part of the phylogenetically ancient cortex limbic cortex integrates the sensory affective and cognitive components of pain and processes information regarding the internal bodily state hippocampus is another limbic system structure it has tonic inhibitory control over the hpa this hypothalamic stress response system and plays a role in negative feedback for the hpa axis hippocampal volume and neurogenesis in this structure have been implicated in stress sensitivity 
and resiliency in relationship to anxiety disorder. Limbic structure, the amygdala, processes emotionally salient external stimuli and initiates the appropriate behavioral response. Amygdala is responsible for expression of fear and aggression, defensive behavior, plays a role in formation and retrieval of emotional and fear-related memories. This is a diagram depicting uh, <laughs> the uh, various symptoms that occurs in anxiety disorders uh, due to involvement of the following structure. Lateral hypothalamus uh, leads to increase in the heart rate and blood pressure. Dorsal vagus now, these are all parts of the uh, amygdala. The fear response is a hardwired process involving the amygdala. This image depicts the amygdala's involvement in fear circuit. The central nucleus of amygdala is heavily connected with cortical regions, including the limbic cortex. It also receives in inputs from hippocampus, thalamus, and hypothalamus. Neuroendocrine and neurotransmitter pathways increase activity in emotion processing brain regions could, res could result from decreased inhibitory signaling by GABA or increased excitatory neurotransmission by glutamate. Anxiolytic and antidepressant properties of drugs that act on monoaminergic system have implicated serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine in the pathogenesis of the anxiety disorders. Monoaminergic neurons include transmitter receptors like VMAC, which packages these neurotransmitters into the vesicles, vasopressin, oxytocin, <clears throat> and oxytocin and uh, transmitter-specific reuptake inhibitor uh, transporters dopamine transporters, 5-HT dopamine norepinephrine, and COMT, which degrades dopamine and norepinephrine. Neuropeptides, uh, which particular, uh, uh, there are some neuropeptides which have particularly strong link with the anxiety disorder. These are cholecystokinin, galenin, neuropeptide by vasopressin, oxytocin, and corticotropin releasing factors. This is a table depicting the uh, role of different neuropeptides in stress neurobiology and as well as its role in uh, psychopathology. Cholecystokinin acts as a weak ACTH secretor valve. Galenin incre is increased by physiological increased by physiological and psychological stress and pain. Neuropeptide Y increased during the stress endogenous in endogenous alarm system, stress induced increase in feeding, modulate behavior to cope with the chronic stress. Oxytocin is also a weak ACTS secretor. We will study the role of oxytocin in anxiety disorder in the further slide. Vasopressin is increased by stress, uh, moderate ACTS. It is also moderate ACTS secretor and synergized to stimulate ACTH production and release. Corticotropin releasing factor is increased by primary stress, primary ACTS secretor. This is a diagram depicting the HPA axis. In HPA axis, CRF is released, that is corticotrophin releasing hormone is released from the hypothalamus and uh, uh, <clears throat> which is uh, released systemic, uh, is really, in the, this is a diagram depicting a HPA axis, corticotrophin releasing hormone is released from the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus in the, in the anterior pituitary to elicit, elicit production and release of ACTH which is released systematically and activates production and release of glucocorticoids from the adrenal cortex. The main stress steroid is cortisol in humans. HPA axis activity is regulated by numerous other limbic systems structures as well, including the amygdala, and, uh, <clears throat> which enhances the HPA axis activity, and the hippocampus, which suppresses the HPA axis activity. Gene-environment interactions. There has been robust correlation be be uh, between the environmental factors and the epigenome. Meta-analysis study of GWAS identified two loci. Well, one is single nucleotide polymorphism and uh, uh, RS1709393, single nucleotide polymorphism, and another is uh, SNP, which is present in the calcium or calmodulin-dependent protein kinase, two gamma genes. Gene environmental factors and gene environmental interactions on anxiety disorder <clears throat> occurs when the effect of genetic risk factors is modified by life experiences or other environmental exposure. Gene environmental studies have mainly focused on serotonin, 
HPA axis and neurotrophin system that is BDNF. Environmental factors could be uh, adverse childhood experiences like emotional abuse, physical abuse, neglect, sexual abuse, child maltreatment, mal mal stressful life events like conflicts in family and marriage, disrupted interpersonal relationships, jo job related issues, financial difficulties, legal and crime matters, and perinatal condition. <clears throat> Gene environment inter environmental interactions or anxiety disorder have been found to exhibit strong replications and association with anxiety related gene environmental interactions. Three genetic loci have been identified that is BDNF, FKBP, and prolin. Two genetic markers have been identified isomerase 5 and 5 HTT LPR. 5 HTT LPR that is serotonin transporter gene linked polymorphic region. 5-HTT uh, LPR variant, which is present on the SLC6A4 gene, encodes for the serotonin neurotrans uh, neurotransmitter transporter. Short L uh, it has two alleles, that is short allele and long allele. The short allele of 5-HTT LPR has been linked to reduce expression activity of SLC6A4 gene. Interaction between 5-HTT LPR variant and gene environmental interaction has been analyzed in conjugation with the childhood maltreatment. Individuals with short allele homozygotes of 5-HTT LPR exhibit a heightened tendency toward anxiety sensitivity. BDNF <laughs> Three-way interaction between the 5-HTT LPR variant and SNP of the BDNF gene and a history of childhood maltreatment, it uh, has been studied in modulation of the anxiety disorder. There were significant gene environmental interactions for male participants in the study, but there was no such interaction observed for the female participants. Uh, gene environmental interaction between childhood maltreatment and fatty acid amide hydrolase have also been studied and it has uh, shown association with anxiety disorder. The RAR related orphan gene receptor A, uh, similar study what was conducted with RAR related orphan receptor A, and in the, there, there was seen that interaction in male participant was present, but there was no significant interaction in female participant. Role of epigenetics in anxiety disorders. Epigenetics. Epigenetics, it is the study of how our behavior and environment can change the effect the way our genes work. <clears throat> Unlike genetic changes, epigenetic changes are reversible. They do not change the DNA sequence, but determine the gene expression. Anxiety disorders may potentially be linked to epigenetic mechanisms such as microRNAs, histone modifications, and DNA methylation. DNA methylation involves addition of methyl group to DNA molecule, uh, particularly in instances where a cytosine is succeeded by a guanine. Stressful early life events results in increase in DNA methylation in the BDNA. Four specific genes have been involved, OXGR, FOE, BDNF, and SLC6A4, has correlation between their DNA methyl methylation and anxiety disorder. Epigenetic variation in serine, threonine, kinase 32B gene may be linked to heightened susceptibility to generalized anxiety disorder. MicroRNAs, several microRNAs, including MIR132, 101A, and 135A, have potential risk factors for the anxiety disorder. Reduction of MIR135 expression in amygdala may lead to heightened levels of anxiety like behavior. Histone modification is a process of covalently modifying histone proteins via post translation changes, which subsequently lead to formation of nucleosome through their interaction with the DNA. <laughs> Epigenetic modulation of chronic anxiety disorders entails histone deacetylation. Role of oxytocin system in anxiety disorder Oxytocin is a peptide hormone and a neuropeptide. Uh, and its production occurs through the chemical synthesis within the magnocellular neurons, uh, which is located in the hypothalamic nuclei 
that is the paraventricular accessory and supraoptic nuclei. <clears throat> Oxytocin exerts its effects on peripheral targets, on peripheral targets and regulates various physiological processes like renal water reabsorption, autonomic functions, metabolism, pain, perception, immune responses. Modulation of HPA axis response to stre uh, stressful conditions is influenced by oxytocin. Oxytocin has a significant impact on brain functions, but it modifies the connection between the amygdala and various other regions like periacudectal gray matter, re uh, reticular formation, medial frontal cortex, and inferior frontal gyrus, which uh, leads to autonomic fear, emotional regulation, and social cognition. Acquisition and extension of fear plays a crucial role in the development of the anxiety disorders. Enzyolytic effect of oxytocin, oxytocin and anxiety. Enzyolytic, uh, the enzyolytic effects were found to be associated with increasing endogenous oxytocin that were linked to pregnancy, lactation, and sexual activity. Concentration of oxytocin in both plasma and CSR in children were found to have negative correlation with the scores related to trait anxiety. Among adults, female adults, heightened levels of plasma oxytocin link, was linked to increased attachment anxiety. The role of oxytocin in social cognition and emotion process. Social, the concept of social cognition pertains to the cognitive processes that facilitate social interaction encompassing the perception, interpretation, and generation of responses to the behaviors, disposition, and intentions of other individuals. Social anxiety disorder is a condition that is distinguished by a significant level of fear or anxiety in social situation. The fear of being negatively evaluated by others can be influenced by social cognitive processes in which oxytocin plays a major role. Fear learning and fear extension <clears throat> Pathogenic mechanisms in anxiety disorders include fear conditioning and generalization. Fear conditioning occurs when a neutral stimulus is consistently paired with an aversive stimulus. Following repeated pairing, the stimuli, neutral stimulus has the capacity to elicit fear responses and anticipatory reactions towards the aversive stimulus, ultimately leading to the avoidance behavior. PTSD that is post-traumatic stress disorder and specific phobias and are the common disorders which are associated with fear condition. Generalized anxiety involves the tendency of individual to generalize their fear response to safe condition, which is attributed to the increasing presence of anxiety cues in their surroundings. Fear response can be mitigated through the presentation of neutral stimulus that initially elicited the fear response this process is known as extinction. Anxiety patients have been observed to exhibit delayed or reduced fear extension. Amygdala has been found to be associated with the process of fear acquisition and extension. And it is modulated by the hippocampus and prefrontal cortex. Amygdala and prefrontal cortex exhibit the presence of oxytocin receptors. So in turn, oxytocin regulates the fear learning and fear extension because of the presence of the oxytocin receptors and amygdala and prefrontal cortex. Interaction of oxytocin with other neuroendocrine and neurotransmitter system, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, which I have explained in the previous slide, uh, is responsible for regulating neuroendocrine response to stress through the actions of CRF, ACTH, and corticosteroids. Exposure to stress will lead to oxytocin release, which regulates the reactivity of the HPA axis. Oxytocin may mitigate the stress process of HP axis by amplifying negative feedback loop of HP axis via potentiation of CRF and ACTH secretion. Oxytocin has the ability to decrease the expression of CRF in two distinct manners, that is through indirect pathway or a direct pathway. Indirect pathway through the activation of GABA and direct pathway through the inhibition of CRTC3 that is a co-activator involved in the transcription of CRF gene. <clears throat> Serotonergic system, a primary focus of therapeutic intervention for anxiety disorder, uh, SSRIs and SSNRIs enhance the effectiveness in treating a range of anxiety disorders like panic disorders, generalized anxiety disorders, and social anxiety disorders. 
modulation of serotonergic system through oxytocin have a correlation with anxiety and social cognition. Correlation between administration of oxytocin and a decrease in anxiety related symptoms, as well as enhancement in the release of serotonin, uh, is through the median refill nucleus. Gabaergic system, crucial role in mediating inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system by the means of GABA A receptor. The angiolytic effects of benzodiazepine are attributed to augmentation of inhibitory post synaptic currents mediated by GABA A receptors in the central amygdala. The angiolytic impact of oxytocin through GABA A activation is associated with brain regions beyond the central amygdala. The role of early life stress in HP axis and anxiety. Early life stress events and alteration of HP axis function have a significant role in the anxiety, onset of anxiety. Early life uh, <clears throat> effects of early life uh, stress negatively influence child development, affecting all spheres of individual's life, behavioral, emotional, social, cognitive, and physical which includes different traumatic experiences that occur during the childhood and adolescent and which may have repercussions in the adulthood. Among these are the parental loss, separation from parents, childhood illness, family violence, deprivation of food, clothing, clothing shelter and love. Early life stress is an important, although non-specific risk factor for anxiety. Childhood maltreatment may be subdivided into the following domains: that is physical, emotional, sexual, and uh, <clears throat> emotional neglect and physical neglect. This is a diagram depicting the HP axis. <clears throat> the stress response system is a complex multi-level mechanism largely dependent on the feedback regulation, the suppression of the subgenus prefrontal cortex and activation of amygdala lead to the stimulation of hypothalamus sympathetic adrenomedullary or autonomic sympathetic axis and hypothalamic pituitary axis. Autonomic sympathetic axis is responsible for most rapid and uh, rapid response and acts via the secretion of epinephrine via the adrenal glands. The HP axis is activated minutes after the epinephrine surge and represents a cascade of events starting with the secretion of corticotrophin releasing hormone from the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus into the portal circulation, which stimulates the synthesis and release of ACTH by the pituitary. <clears throat> ACTH further stimulates the synthesis and release of glucocorticoid hormone cortisol by the adrenal cortex. Glucocorticoids are known to exert some function effects, mild inflammation, insulin resistance, and prothrombotics state. The key role of glucocorticoids consists in maintaining homeostasis in response to feed stress. It is believed that glucocorticoids exert their function through two types of receptors, that is the mineralocorticoid receptors and the glucocorticoid receptors. <clears throat> mineralocorticoid receptors are high affinity but low specificity receptors, which means that they usually bind with basal cortisol, which circulates in the blood at lower concentration than in stress responses situations following a circadian pa pattern as well as with the mineralocorticoid glucocorticoid receptors <clears throat> as well as with the mineralocorticoid glucocorticoid receptors on the other hand glucocorticoid receptors <clears throat> on the other hand glucocorticoid receptors uh, are uh, uh, high, less specific and uh, uh, are uh, mean, uh, due to the are no specific on the other hand, glucocorticoid receptors exert their function through two types of receptors. Uh, um, mineralocorticoid receptors are high affinity but low specificity receptors, which means that they usually bind with basal cortisol, which circulates in the blood at lower concentration than in stress response situation following a circadian pa pattern, as well as with mineralocorticoids. Glucocorticoid receptors, on the other hand, exhibit lower affinity but higher specificity to the glucocorticoid. Glucocorticoid receptor function is impaired in anxiety disorder. Stress in early phases of development can induce persistent changes in ability of HP axis to respond to stress in childhood, adulthood. Raise, uh, there is increased susceptibility to anxiety disorders because of 
glucocorticoid receptor function impairment. Abnormalities related to changing ability of circulating glucocorticoids to exhibit negative feedback on secretion of HPA hormone through binding to glucocorticoid receptors and mineralocorticoid receptors. Excessive production of CRN from hypo uh, another mechanism could be excessive production of corticotrophin releasing factors from the hypothalamus. Chronic overexpression of CRN in the amygdala is associated with altered gene expression in the hippocampus and paraventricular nucleus, leading to increased hyperactivity. These efferents play an important role in HPA response to behavioral and emotional stimuli. Elevated CRF secretion will persistently stimulate the HPA axis, leading ultimately to increasing glucocorticoid level and to possible mechanism of dysfunction of glucocorticoid receptors and mineralocorticoid receptors. Hippocampus also receives hippocampus also receives important efferent connections from the refen nucleus, the, which is the main site of serotonin neuronal projection. And uh, serotonin is a neurotransmitter implicated in regulation of emotional responses and behavior in the brain. There is evidence that the ex expression and function of glucocorticoid receptors in the hippocampus, mainly mineral of the mineralocorticoid receptor is regulated by the stimulation of the 5-HT receptors. Stressful stimuli increases 5-HT release and turnover in the hippocampus. And some of the changes in mineralocorticoid and glucocorticoid receptors expression may be mediated in part at least by the increase of the 5-HT. The balance of MR and GR is known to affect brain serotonin systems and plays a etiologic role in serotonin receptor changes, particularly 5 hd one down regulation. Immune kind urinin pathways in the gut microbiota, brain axis, immune kind urinin pathways in the gut microbiota brain axis in the anxiety disorder that microbiota refers to collection of intestinal microorganisms that establish a commensal association with the host. Intricate interplay between the brain and the microbiota residing in the GIT gives a rise to network framework known as the gut brain axis and it involves multifaceted mechanisms. It is a bidirectional uh, axis which comprises of uh, autonomic nervous system, enteric nervous system, and neuroimmune, neuroendocrine pathways. Composition of intestinal microbiota plays a significant and influential role in numerous neuronal functions and behavior. Immune kind urinating pathway it, um, mechanism that contributes, is a mechanism that contributes to the correlation between intestinal microbiota and anxiety. This is a diagram depicting the uh, uh, immune kinurenin pathway. Tryptophan is an amino acid which assumes a crucial function in the gut-brain axis by serving as a precursor molecule. <clears throat> by serving as a precursor molecule for the serotonin. Over 90% of the tryptophan is converted into the, into the kinurenin and <clears throat> which is further uh, uh, is convert 90% of the tryptophan is converted into the kinurenin and this process is facilitated by the enzyme 2,3-dioxygenase and 
tryptophan 2,3 dioxygenate. Indolamine dioxygenate and tryptophan dioxygenate. Uh, uh, tryptophan dioxygenase it is increased in stressful condition. On the other hand, IDO is increased in the inflammatory conditions. <clears throat> the activation of the IDO1 pathway is induced by pro-inflammatory cytokine. Trinurenin is further uh, converted into the trinurenin acid, trinurenin acid and 3-hydroxychinurenin. And 3-hydroxychinurenin uh, uh, is further converted into the hydroxy Xanthrylic acid and quinonic acid and nicotinic acid. Kynurenic acid and quinonic acid, being derivatives of kynurenin, exhibit neuroactive properties. The metabolites, the metabolites have been found to elicit stimulation of NMDA and alpha-7 nicotinic receptors. Kynurenic acid has been found to exhibit neuroprotective effects, whereas quinonic acid has been observed to be excitotoxic. Kynurenic acid exhibits anti-inflammatory properties. The role of intestinal microbiota and kynurenin pathway metabolism. Bacterial involvement in kynurenin pathway is multifaceted. Molecules in the neurotransmitter structures such as serotonin are synthesized by intestinal bacteria. These bacteria have been found to be responsive to psychotropic drugs including TCAs and SSRI. Microbiota has the ability to synthesize quinonic acid from aspartate and kynurenic acid from kynurenin through bacterial metabolic processes. Metabolites originating from the tryptophan kynurenin pathway subsequent to their production in the intestinal lumen may potentially impact the CNS functions of the host upon entering the systemic circulation. These are my references. Thank you. Any questions, comments, verifications? Very important topic. Can you explain the serotonin HPA axis? The hippocamp hippocampus receives important different connections from the refer nucleus and which is the main site of the serotonin neuronal projection. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter which is uh, implicated in the emotional responses and behavior in the brain. There is evidence that expression and function of glucocorticoid receptors, glucocorticoid receptors in the hippocampus, mainly the mineralocorticoid receptors, is regulated by the stimulation of serotonin receptors. Uh, stress, during a stressful stimuli, the serotonin is increased and turnover in the hippocampus increases and some of the changes in the mineralocorticoid receptors and glucocorticoid receptors may be mediated in part by the serotonin. Tryptophan is a metabolite uh, precursor of serotonin. And as I have explained, serotonin plays a major role in anxiety disorder. So tryptophan is mostly 90% of the tryptophan is converted into the kynurenin, which is further converted into the kynurenic acid and uh, quinonic acid. And so uh, uh, th this process occurs with the help of uh, tryptophan uh, IDO and TDO uh, uh, enzymes, which I have mentioned before. <clears throat> 2 3 dioxygenase, it occurs with the help of indolamine 2 3 dioxygenase and tryptophan 2 3 dioxygenase. So, uh, kynurenin uh, uh, TDO is increased in the stressful condition and IDO is increased in the inflammatory condition. So, the activation of the IDO pathway is uh, induced by pro inflammatory cytokine and a TDO pathway uh, is increased by stressful conditions like release of the glucocorticoids. And <clears throat> kynurenin pathway exhibits, uh, uh, this kynurenic acid exhibits a uh, neuroprotective effect and anti-inflammatory effect. Any stress 
मोर कार्बोनिक एसिड भी थी यस जनरेट यस व्हिच विल लीड टू द सर एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी इफेक्ट्स एंड न्यूरोप्रोटेक्टिव इफेक्ट्स न्यूरोप्रोटेक्टिव और न्यूरोटॉक्सिन सर न्यूरोप्रोटेक्टिव सर टाइम ओवर सर न्यूरोप्रोटेक्टिव है because of the uh, disruption in the glucocorticoid and glucocorticoid receptor function fine the acid is healthy or humanitic uh, acid okay so this so they are they are having opposite effects antagonistic effect and antagonistic effect the so fine the acid is healthy because of it is having antagonistic effect <laughs> क्वेश्चन We deal with these day in day out. Rightly mentioned, one of the most prevalent psychiatric conditions. You should know what is happening. So, glucocorticoid receptor binding. Did you get that point? So, it is binding or not? So, you see that glucocorticoids are increased. They have to be able to feed that negative feedback. So, it goes in a physiological loop. Feedback slows. It will not. And then it will keep on increasing. That will cause a decoupling of your sync with the circuit side. Decoupling results in a lot of dysregulation, a lot of pain in patients. So, glucocorticoid receptors uh, are they are inherently deficient? Their sensitivity goes off, or they have effects of other agents like fibrinol. So, the sensitivity goes off, so they are no longer sensitive to the steroids. So, feedback. Inhibition doesn't happen, and then it goes to the board. Patient takes into this chemical space. Why this environmental gene interaction is important? Because at times the childhood adversities it would result in lifelong and childhood sexual result in lifelong anxiety, phobia, you feel emotional dysregulation. And also, many patients who are adaptations adaptations are there, but when they go into any environmental stress, adjustment issues, then they break into anxiety. So otherwise, they so there was this environmental interactions in environment. So your proportions, pollution. <clears throat> so this is the thyroidic pathway. As I have mentioned, that the tryptophan is a present for serotonin. Uh, so, ninety percent of the tryptophan in, is converted into thyroidic. So. The thyroidin pathway with the help of uh, indole dioxygenase and tryptophan dioxygenase. Yeah, Who cut my microbiota here? That I mentioned.
tryptophan is uh, converted into the kinurenin with the help of indole dioxygenase and tryptophan dioxygenase and it is further converted into the kinurenic acid uh, which has an antagonistic effect on the that is uh, kinurenic acid is neuroprotective uh, and uh, it has also has anti-inflammatory properties so in stressful condition it will act uh, as anti-inflammatory as well as neuroprotective I think the whole point is the, uh, if, if step happens, activation of PDU or inflammation happens, so activation of IDU will divert this pathway to combine to dynamic from serotonin. Serotonin is healthy, gave serotonin in the body, deep melatonin will happen. Patient goes into this pathway, it has some kind of activation, free radical formation, and sleep issues. So that is why they are saying that gut might. And fine issues that the other metabolite is preventing it, one of the it, it gets up like that. There is a broad understanding. Subsequently, you can read it with the patient understanding. Dr. Ayushi, psychology in terms of what you want to do. No, it is a separate mechanism. Uh, hypothalamic pituitary axis uh, is a separate mechanism, and these are the neuron axis circuit. <clears throat> also, in one place you put amygdala having different connections. Yes. Go back to that. There is connected to the hypothalamus. And subsequently, there is some connection established. But, but more of your prior learning and subsequently uh, modulating those peer circuits subsequently make or can contribute to this balance in HP. And the other the pathway, because you can see corticosteroid being blocked by paraventilin. So it is definitely contributing. Not a different section has contributed. And uh, do you know any therapies where we kind of use this medulla, this, this basis of a in, a, in any anxiety disorder? Do you know? In OCD. OCD, what they are doing is they are actually giving patient exposure and using an antidepressant drug. Cyclone just forward that term name, uh, and then they are actually giving exposure. They found direct correlations with amygdala, basolateral area getting better, fear modulation getting better. That is a very interesting thing. Uh, anyone else? Other terms? Uh, I mean, And they also found that it was around 50 to 40 percent Biological, 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 biological,
structural biological character while we were looking at this increased activation of the amygdala and triad amyloids that the people who uh, understood actually. So some of the fashion was given by that. And they said that the other models also said that this thing a violent and high genetic uh, we've been behind the uh, development of anxiety disorders because the environment set up the social environment that is responsible for the development of the complaining just at that genetic model is responsible for the development of anxiety disorders. And so we knew that that is the study based because the patient was born on uh, anxiety. But it was only a diagnostic question because of the need for additional receptive inhabitants who uh, in the early days of our study that they were able to ask prior to, for example, a history of stress. So we wanted to get much of cancer with it. Any other contributions? Okay. okay, so then I think we conclude the session. Uh, I think Nathan could attend. Biggest uh, drawback was should have been there because, because it was announced in months before. So, and more, most attempts should be that it should be locked up by a month before. And uh, don't say what are having other handout presentations. How many of you are having other handout presentations? Next one, this is the huh? so doctor. That should be uh, locked up much before because it is something which you can't do. Three days prior, two days prior. So, I know it needs another, uh, a series of hard work. So, you can ask Dr. Ishan. He has made a WhatsApp book to write a chapter. Chapter, headlines, each section, then the editing that happens. Similarly, hand out. So that it can help you out. You know, how to write, to process information, and how to write. Down. So, subsequently, when you go from there, you can you not know, be hesitant in writing chapter. And reviews, and review articles. So that is very important. I should not be shy of it because, in any case, that will help you a lot. Presentation wise, that was simple. I think few slides he could have added figures and, uh, so that it can have been more engaging for the audience. And few more explanations that things could have become easier. Again, my whole point is to record your presentation. And then go back and watch your presentation. It is the best way of you will know if you okay. Here I could have done better. Or when you see a standard, I think you're better. Thank you. We start the rounds. Thank you.